Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Maybury Jamaican Equities is looking to raise up to $3.37 billion through a bond offer. The secured bonds will be issued in three tranches with a minimum purchase of 20,000 Jamaican dollars and further increments of $10,000 thereafter. The invitation will open on May 10 and is expected to run until June 7. Each tranche offers $750 million at a rate of 9.25%. 10% and 10.5% per annum. The tenure for tranche 1 is 13 months, tranche 2 is 26 months, and tranche 3 is 36 months. Mayberry says the funds will be used to repay existing debt, expand its investment portfolio, and fund the interest reserve account. The secured bonds will be listed on the bond market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange, subject to approval. Portland Barbados Limited, under the leadership of Michael Lee Chin, missed the final payment of principal and interest on a $23 million US dollar short-term bond. The Trinidad-based Guardian newspaper is reporting that the facility with an 8.25% return matured last Tuesday, April 30. According to the bonds trust deed, the missed payment is considered a default if the company fails to pay within seven business days following the due date any principal, interest and arrears of interest under this trust deed. Guardian is reporting that Republic Bank Limited, which serves as trustee for the bond issue, wrote to bondholders the day after Portland Barbados missed the payment. It's understood that Mr. Leachin requested a meeting of bondholders for today and is expected to ask for a 90-day extension. TikTok and its Chinese parent company ByteDance has filed a lawsuit to block the bill signed by U.S. President Joe Biden that would force the sale of the short video app. The companies filed their lawsuit in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit, arguing that the law is unconstitutional and violates free speech. The law, signed by Biden on April 24, gives ByteDance until January 19, 2025 to sell TikTok or face a ban. The lawsuit said the sale is simply not possible, not commercially, not technologically, not legally. It says there is no question that the act will force a shutdown of TikTok, silencing the 170 million Americans who use the platform to communicate in ways that cannot be replicated elsewhere. The Jamaican dollar gained 11 cents against the U.S. currency at the close of trading on Tuesday. Trading resumes with banks and cambios selling the American dollar for an average $157.56. The Canadian dollar is being sold for $115.55. $197.56 is the average value of the pound, while the euro is going for $171.27. And to the stock market now, the JSE index lost 1,105 points today, while the junior market declined by 22 points. Among the 36 winners, Blue Power Group, Carbon Assurance Brokers, Maybury Jamaican Equities, JMMB Group 7% Shares and General Accident Insurance Company. The 51 losers include KLE Group. JPS 7% shares, Jetcon Corporation, CAC 2000, and Everything Fresh. 25 stocks traded firm. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.